Hi everyone and welcome back to another speed build on my channel. If you're new here, my name is Verity and I like to build on The Sims and also do Let's Plays. Currently we're on mint gen of the Not So Berry Challenge and what we're building today is a restaurant that you may have seen in Friday's episode of the Not So Berry Challenge when Faye and Akira went out for a meal for Love Day. They went on a, a cosy little date. Little did we know that... <laughs> The restaurant they went to had no vegetarian options so Faye had to have an entree she had the salad and Akira had the expensive trout but if you haven't seen any of the nuts and berry challenge I'll list the playlist down below and if you are only missing that episode I'll also link that one down below. So my main reason for building a restaurant was none of the worlds have a restaurant in. I know come dine with me and I know it's not called come dine with me but what is it even called? But I know come dine with me didn't come with a world but it just bugs me that none of the worlds have a restaurant in. I, I know it's for people who don't own that pack but have to build our own restaurants and I knew that I wanted to get them out of the house and love day was coming up so I had to build a, a restaurant and I knew that Faye was a vegetarian so ask me why I didn't put anything vegetarian on the menu I just assumed there'd be a faux fish you know they do a, a faux everything I thought they'd do a faux fish apparently not but they had a good time anyway they they had some some really nice uh, moments on that day if I recall so if you didn't see the episode on Friday you won't know that I have this coming week off work how exciting for me oh, I just need a rest you know work's been a bit much lately the end of the working year and all that but what are my plans for this week off I'm going to record some more YouTube videos so I'm gonna do two extra not so berry episodes I think one tomorrow one on Thursday and then the regular one on Friday so that's going to be exciting because I'm really enjoying playing the Not So Berry Challenge at the minute and and I can't play it unless I'm recording it so that's going to be fun for me I also have to clean the house it really needs a good old spring clean something else that needs a good old spring clean is my tortoise Marty who I haven't put him in hibernation this year he doesn't fit in the fridge anymore guys if you didn't know when a tortoise hibernates they have to stay at the same temperature it has to be a constant temperature for of about two degrees celsius and in the olden days people used to put them in the shed or something in the garage but that's just not safe for them because especially with global warming and everything nowadays the temperature can drop way below that in the winter and your tortoise is going to freeze to death guys don't put them in the shed and other people used to bury them like in a box like I'll bury my tortoise in the garden no don't do that just the fridge is nice a box within a box in the crisper do not eat written on the box very nice but my fridge broke a few years ago and now it's not big enough to fit the tortoise in so we just let him sleep through the winter in his enclosure which is in the living room and he does wake up sometimes if it's really cold and I put the fire on but what I'm gonna do this coming week is I'm gonna wake him up I'm gonna give him a nice bath I'm gonna make sure his little eyesies are nice and clear. I'm gonna make sure his little nostrils. I've got no boogers in them. I'm gonna give him some kale and I might give him some strawberries. Strawberries were his absolute favourite. And yeah, I'll clean his enclosure out. He'll be like, what is this? I decorated this nicely before Christmas and now look at it, it's brand new. He's gonna be looking at me like, no ma'am, I did not ask for this. But he doesn't spend a lot of time in there to be honest. I let him roam around the house sometimes he likes to watch youtube with me sometimes he likes to watch netflix with me and if it's a particularly sunny day he'll find a spot on the floor where the sun is shining through the window and he'll sit and sunbathe a little basking in the sun i love that tortoise i got him he's probably about let me think gosh he's gonna be 20 years old this year he's like my family heirloom and my nephew has a tortoise as well he got his I want to say maybe five or six years ago now his tortoise is a lot smaller than Marty and when he was younger my sister asked him Bobby what are you going to call your tortoise and Bobby said smarty and we looked at him like I mean you're adamant that you call in your tortoise smarty is there a reason for that Bobby and he said well 
small marty and i love that to be honest I, d I did love that and speaking of my sister and that side of the family and everything my sister's getting married next year april 2025 Woo, wedding bells but she's invited me dress shopping I've never been dress shopping before but I have been forced to endure say yes to the dress many an occasion and it looks pretty fancy like are you gonna give me champagne I'll take the cake thank you like feed me and I do have to pre-warn my sister that I'm going to be honest I'm I don't have it in me to not tell you with my facial expression if I'm not enjoying the dress that you're wearing and I will get distracted at times but I'm not gonna be the only person there so it's gonna be okay Sue's gonna be there and Tim's mum's gonna be there and Emma's gonna be there so it's gonna be a nice day out we're going to Chester first Chester which should be a nice little day out I uh, haven't been to Chester for ages last time I went was when I'd been to the cinema in Cheshire Oaks I think we'd been to see August D D Day in the cinema and oh, we had Lanigans it was beautiful I did get very poorly halfway through and gosh I was overheating I don't know if it's because Minyungi was stood on the screen in front of me but gosh that was a good day out that was a good little concert he put on but all day that day I'd really wanted a Squishmallow I wanted Zozo and I couldn't find her anywhere I love Zozo actually loved Zozo and um I couldn't find her anywhere anyway she wasn't at Cheshire Oaks, she wasn't in Chester. We came home and we was like, why don't we go to the local B&M just on the off chance that they've got a Zozo. There she was in all her glory, my babe Zozo. And that was like the big, big Zozo, but I also have a five inch Zozo and I love that lady. I've just realized I've left her at work. She's my emotional support Zozo. And I also have an emotional support Hugh. And I've got lots of mochi jelly toys that sit around my desk at work and they are my emotional support crew. They help me through the days. I've got a cat, a one-eyed cat and a little regu, regu from that anime. You know the one, regu. He's only got one eye as well. He's not actually reg regu, but he is like a little robot squishy thing. Um, he's not so much mochi. He's got water inside him, but gosh, he's a sensory dream. Love him. I love him. And it's really nice to say regu. Regu, I really enjoy saying regu. Gosh, I've completely lost track of what we were talking about. My sister's wedding. So my sister's got Bobby, obviously, but she's also got little Daffers, little Daphne. She's just a wee lass, but gosh, my sister posted a picture of little Daffs yesterday. How much hair has that kid got? She's 18 months old. She's got more hair than me. Just saying. She's got more hair than me and probably the whole of my workforce put together. So yeah. And her dad is Ginger, Ginger Tim, Timothy, Moth as I like to call him. Why don't people call Timothy ever go by Moth? Tim's so overdone go by moth so moth is her dad and he's ginger and I don't hate that because she's got the most beautiful colored hair little daffers and my sister done it in a french plait and it does look adorable what else can we talk about I've been playing a lot of house flipper lately I'm probably as well as recording videos and cleaning my house I'm probably going to be playing a lot of house flipper house flipper one on the DS for when I'm in bed, House Flipper 2 for when I'm on the PC downstairs. And I just love it. If I could look after my own house the way I look after those houses, gosh, I'd be living the dream. But the house that I'm building, it's not even a house, the restaurant that I'm building does look like it's coming to an end now. We've not spoken about it at all, apart from the fact that I wanted it to be like a sushi restaurant, but it's actually like a fish restaurant because we're in San Francisco. As I stated in my last Not So Berry Challenge, we are in San Francisco, which is by the sea, which is why we went for fish. But yes, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please think about subscribing to the channel and I'll see you tomorrow 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 you say tomorrow for a not so berry challenge yes bye